Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Chroma ROM for both the Nexus 6P and the Nexus 6. Let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, so I've got Chroma ROM running on both my Nexus 6P and my Nexus 6. Uh, they're actually both exactly the same ROM. The only difference is that the Nexus 6P has additional fingerprint option. Uh, but otherwise, it's nearly identical. So I'm going to go ahead and show you with my Nexus 6P here, uh, which I also really like. All right, let me go ahead and adjust the brightness here. Um, so this is running the latest Android 6.0.1. Uh, and I know some of you rooted with Android 6.0, you want to upgrade to 6.0.1. Um, you can go ahead and grab the stock version on XTA if you want. Uh, or you can go ahead and install something like this, uh, which will give you additional options on top of the stock Android 6.0.1. So I really like this ROM because I've been using this with the Nexus 6P uh, for a while. The ROM itself is very similar to a stock ROM. And you'll be able to get uh, all of the stock options plus more stuff of uh, root and stuff like developer options, system UI tuner is enabled out of the box. So let me go ahead and show you, it is running the latest Android 6.0.1. Right, um, this is based on the Android sources, so it's not like Sinos and Mods, so you won't get themes or anything like that. If you want that, I'll run CM13, which I'll also have a video of. All the Chroma ROM is really a stock ROM. Um, you can see I have some customization I did, uh, stay high on Android, uh, hashtag, I've got the circle bar. You can find all that, and also I've got, I can adjust my, um, brightness, going like that. You can find out all that in Chroma, uh, personalization. And uh, here we go. So it's with status bar, you can go ahead and change the battery icon. This is where I got the uh, circle. And also you can show the percentage if you want. Um, clock date, if you want to center the clock, you can go ahead and do this. Um, date format. The brightness control I just showed you it is here. You can go ahead and enable brightness control. You can also do various options like show notification count. Quick pull down is really nice. I have it off right now. Uh, for stock ROM, you won't have this. So when you do one swipe, you will not be able to access your toggles unless you do two swipe like that, two finger swipe. Uh, but with this one, you can go ahead and set it to the right or left. So if you go to the right, you'll be able to see both notifications and your quick toggles. Left will be just normal. So I really like that little option. So this ROM gives you that network traffic options if you want to see it, show weather, clock widget. You also notice my quick toggles. I have more of them. They're smaller. You can go ahead and, uh, and disable enlarge first row and also show four tiles per row. Then you'll be able to fit more toggles in there. Um, some additional stuff there with navigation bar. You can go ahead and add uh, like one additional button. I don't actually find this quite useful. I don't find it useful, but um, you can go ahead and use that. You can go ahead and also change the height of your navigation bar if you want more room for your uh, actual phone. I just leave it on default. Also, the width you can change. Uh, kill, also kill app back button. You can go ahead and kill an app while you're at it just by holding that button. Of course, don't forget clear all button and you can go ahead and set that to all these different locations so you can go ahead and kill all of your apps. I'm um, just subtle little customizations that may help you use the phone better and I feel like, you know, rather than running stock, I would totally run a ROM like this because it gives you still a stock like experience um, but gives you essential customization you may need. All right, uh, power menu, you can go ahead and add screenshot, uh, all of this other stuff in there, uh, volume rocker. Um, you can go ahead and customize those options. Oh, another thing, gestures this is kind of cool. Um, you can go ahead and double tap on the status bar to put it to sleep. Also, you can go ahead and double tap on the navigation bar. Um, sort of a quick way to turn off the screen. Also, three finger gesture will allow you to take a screenshot of your phone anytime. Other than that, if you go down to System UI Tuner, uh, if you go to Quick Settings, you'll be able to customize um, your toggles here, move it around. I'll add more tiles. I've added a uh, hotspot and also I've changed the flashlight up here so I can actually access it a lot easier. Uh, status bar items. And also you got Super SU. Um, this one comes with Super SU version 2.52. Now this ROM also allows you to use Android Pay. Um, you will have to do additional steps 
uh, you'll have to use a terminal emulator, enter a bunch of commands, reinstall the ROM, uh, and you'll be able to actually use Android Pay while rooted. I'll have link to instructions on that. So definitely check it out. That's additional option. One other thing you can also do with this ROM, you can get multi-window options. Go into a developer here. Uh, if you go down all the way down here and go back up here, um, you will see multi-window mode. Go ahead and enable this. Now you'll be able to um, put anything into multi-window. Hit that bar. Uh, let's say I want to open my Gmail up. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the bottom. And boom shakalaka. You have a multi-window. Of course, this is an experimental feature, but it works pretty good. So that's a great way. And also, don't forget to enable uh, rotation and settings so you can go landscape uh, or vertical like that. Overall, I really like this ROM. It's a really nice ROM. And of course, your fingerprint sensor works just fine on the Nexus 6P. This is based on stock ROM, but a lot better. Um, you'll get the latest Android 6.0, all the goodies I've mentioned here. So definitely check it out for the Nexus 6P. For the regular Nexus 6, you get pretty much everything uh, except for the fingerprint. And also this ROM is fully compatible with Google Fi, which I'm running with the, my Nexus 6. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. Whether you have a Nexus 6 or Nexus 6P, you can enjoy the best of Android 6.0.1. Chroma ROM is a really good stable ROM that's fast, uh, should be faster than stock, should be better battery life than stock. And also it doesn't have a ton of customizations to confuse you, but it has just enough. It's gonna make your life easier. But installation is straightforward. Um, let me actually kind of walk you through it. And also I did forget to mention that it does have reboot menu uh, for four things. So you can go to recovery. All right, to install, of course, obviously you'll have to have a phone rooted and also you'll have to have Tor recovery installed or clock my recovery. Go ahead and reboot your phone into uh, the recovery. Usually power down and volume down and power and then find recovery, hit the power button again and download the ROM beforehand, of course, copy it to your phone or download it straight onto your phone. Also the Google apps. Go ahead and make a backup first, right? That way um, you can try doing a dirty flash. You don't have to do a wipe, just try. If you're coming from a stock ROM, um, go ahead and try just installing the ROM file. Also uh, for Nexus 6P, um, you may want to update the firmware. I don't think it actually affects anything, but I do recommend installing that file also. For, so for Nexus 6P, go ahead and install the ROM file, which is this, uh, followed by the G apps, and then also install the Angular MMB29 and vendor.zip. For Nexus 6, it's the same thing without the third one, um, just the ROM, G apps, right? And go ahead and install it. I'm not gonna install, I'm just gonna show you here. Flash, uh, go ahead and install the next one until you're done, reboot. Now, if you didn't wipe, and if it doesn't boot, or if you get a bunch of errors, come back in here, um, do a wipe and do a fresh install. If you have apps you wanna move over, you can go ahead and use Titanium Backup App, uh, back up all your apps and restore it after installing the new ROM. That's pretty much it. So definitely check it out, 6.0.1. If you want the stock update with some better stuff, you might as well go with the Chroma ROM. I love this ROM, I've been using it um, consistently on my Nexus 6 and looking great with the Nexus 6P. So definitely check it out and do let me know what you think. And as always, I'll stay.